Good morning. I've already started doing my makeup, but I decided why not film today? I normally don't film on Mondays. I normally try to do it um, on my days off or my morning jam sessions. I try to do uh, during the weekends because they pump me up to get ready for work. So the weekends are normally like major crazy at work and you know you gotta do something to pump yourself up so when I'm doing my makeup and I'm getting ready for work I'm dancing around I'm singing I'm goofing off because I'm trying to get into that mentality sorry I have something on the floor when I clean my face my um, cotton pad didn't go into the garbage can and I like just stepped on it but, um, I like getting myself pumped up for work. And it, it works. Um, this weekend we had this million dollar challenge at work. So it was between my store and two other stores to see who could, um, you know, sell the most furniture. And, you know, we rocked it out. We did what we could as our store. And I'm very proud of the people that I work with because we rallied together. We came together. We worked hard. We busted our butts. And we did amazing as a store. Um, so I give us a round of applause. But um, anyways, that's not really what I wanted to talk about today. I actually, my friend Kara that I went to high school with, she keeps wanting to know why I won't shop at Walmart. So I figured, you know, I'm just sitting here getting ready. Jeremy's getting ready to call me soon. So why not tell the story of why I don't like shopping at Walmart? So I'm going to tell you guys why as I'm doing my makeup. And I am... I'm going to be wearing a pink shirt today, so I'm like trying something different. I'm using my rock nudes, but I'm also going in with my drama baked eyeshadow from Ulta, which is awesome, but I'm using purple and teal and blending it together. And I don't know if you can see or not, but it's giving it this, this really cool effect, and I'm loving it. I'm loving it. But I have a hair that I can feel. I just can't get it. And it's bugging me. It's really bugging me. So, anyways, the reason why I don't like shopping at Walmart, and I only go there if I have to. And I mean, like, when I say have to, I'm like, if I, like, life or death, have to. Um... I used to shop at Walmart all the time. Like, I loved it. Um, it to me, Walmart was awesome. I could get everything that I needed and wanted at a great price. Um, now I go in there, and it's not... The one by my house, it just seems like it's always dirty. Not like dirty, dirty to where like it's like smells or anything or like the floors aren't kept clean. I'm talking about the clothes are always all over the place. It's just there's missing tags there's the tags on the clothes are different than what are posted um nothing's ever where it's supposed to be um so that's one reason if i go into the store and i see let's say a movie 
and it says WS. That's widescreen. And it says four ninety nine. But there's another tag that says the exact same thing and both barcodes match. And I take it up and it rings out for twenty five dollars. No, you have a tag over there that has the same barcode, same title, but for twenty dollars less. So that right there, the the visual marketing of the store has gone down. Um, the pricing, the visual pricing has gone down. And it's not just Walmart where the visual pricing has gone down. Go, go, blah, blah, gone down. It is every store. Since the law changed to where you don't have to individually price every single item, you just have to have one main price tag where the product is. I think that, no. Every item should have its own price. I'm just saying. Because you yeah. can't have your employees, especially like in my old store, there was maybe one or two of us after a certain time that was there to clean the store to make sure it was kept, you know, looking nice. You can't just assume that all the guests are going to put the product back right where they got it. If you think that, you're dumb. But, um, and I know everybody has, you know, they try, but it just seems like there's so many people at Walmart working. There should be no reason why that store looks the way it does. Um, that's just my opinion. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. And I, for my friends that work at Walmart, anything, I'm, I'm sorry. That's just my opinion of my store. If you work for my store, Hopefully, you watching this, you can take it to your manager and they can get feedback from somebody that used to love shopping at that store. Um, another reason, and it's mainly from my hometown. I'm not even going to put it on out there um, because I don't want to, well, no, I will. I will. I am from Monroe. And growing up, I was so proud of my town. I was like, yeah, I'm from Monroe, da da da, da. I am embarrassed to say now that I'm from Monroe. Monroe is slowly becoming a shithole. I, I'm serious. It, there's so many things that the drug epidemic, it's crazy. Like, I know when I was younger that there was a lot of drugs and stuff. I know that. But it just seems like, and it's not just Monroe. It is not just Monroe. Don't get me wrong. It just seems like the drug epidemic is crazy. And I went to the Walmart in Monroe. All right. And I had to go to the bathroom so bad. And I hate going to the bathroom in public. I hate hate it. Even at restaurants, I hate going to the bathroom in public. Like, Jeremy jokes around every time I walk in the door, I'm always running to the bathroom. It's because I, I will only go to the bathroom in public if I necessarily have to. And, um, so, I was in the Walmart in Monroe. 
And I went, I had to go so bad. I couldn't hold it. I was about ready to pee my pants. And I go into the first stall. It's dirty. I mean, there was blood on the toilet seat. There was poop on the floor. There, I mean, it was disgusting. So I'm like, ugh. So I skipped the next stall and I went to the next one. And it was the same thing. The toilet was plugged up. It was just, it was nasty. So I'm like, okay, there wasn't, there's not that many stalls. So I went to the handicap stall. Let's just say I did not use the bathroom at Walmart. All right. There was an empty condom wrapper in like sitting on your toiletry can. There was a syringe. Not like a little syringe either for diabetics. If you're a diabetic, you normally dispose of your own needles in a safer way. Um, but it it was just, I went to the management and I told them. And they're like, oh, we're sorry. We'll go and we'll clean it up. And I'm just like, don't you have somebody that goes and checks the bathrooms on a regular basis to make sure that there's toilet paper, paper towels, or that there's soap, or that it, it's actually clean? What if a little kid went into the bathroom and found that and poked themselves? What if it, like, you don't know. You don't, you don't know. And I'm just like, ugh. So that's another reason why I don't like shopping at Walmart. And um, I know it doesn't mean that every Walmart is going to be like that. But it just, you can go to one, say, some fast food place. You can have a bad experience at one. And it could turn you off of going to another one, say, in a completely different state. It just, it, it, bleh, ugh, you know. Um, another reason why I have slowly not liked shopping at Walmart is at my Walmart, I've had so many problems. I, I like to sew. I like, I, I'm a crafty person. I, I just love doing that type of stuff. And, um. I went one day to get a bunch of fabric and I had a shopping cart full of stuff alright and I sit in there I pick out my fabric and it's probably $30 worth of fabric and I ring the bell and I'm sitting there and I'm sitting there and I'm sitting there and I'm waiting nothing so I'm like, okay, I'll ring the bell again. And I hear somebody a couple aisles over on the radio. We need somebody to get the bell in fabric. I'm like, yay, somebody's going to come. And I'm sitting there and I'm sitting there. Nobody comes. Are you are you kidding me? And I ring the bell again. Still, nobody. So I've rang the bell three times. It was announced over their walkies that there is assistance needed. So I see a manager walk by. I was like, excuse me. I was like, can I have some assistance here? She goes, oh, yeah, I'll grab somebody for you. I thought it was already taken care of. I'm like, nope, it hasn't. And so um, I hear her get on her radio as she's walking away. She didn't wait to make sure that I was taken care of. 
she didn't offer to take care of me herself. She just walked away and called somebody. Once again, nobody came. So I see like two minutes later, somebody else walking by. I was like, excuse me, can I get some assistance here? I'm like waiting here now for 20 minutes to get help. And she goes, I don't work in this department. I don't know how to cut the fabric. Can you get me somebody that does? Oh yeah, sure. Okay. Another two minutes goes by, nobody. So I leave the fabric there and I take my cart and I go and I walk the store and I see that same manager that I had spoke to earlier. I was like, you know, I still never got help. And she goes, oh, I, I sent somebody over there I thought you were taken care of. Nope, I wasn't. I was not taken care of. One second. I can't do my liner while I'm talking. I just can't do my liner while I'm talking, sorry. So, she, she walks me over there, and I'm like, you know, I've been sitting here for almost 25 minutes, waiting to get all this fabric cut. She goes, I'll give you 10% off your whole order. I'm like, okay. So I'm thinking my whole order. I have a shopping cart full of stuff. I ha I'm getting all this fabric. I'm getting thread. I'm getting needles. I'm getting bobbins. I'm, I'm getting a bunch of stuff. So I'm thinking, okay, this is going to be, you know, not that much off, but it's better than nothing. I get up to the register after I finally get my fabric cut. And, oh, the person that cut my fabric was the sales associate who told me that she doesn't know how to cut fabric. She was the one that was working in the material department. So she lied to me. Yeah. But, um, here, let me do my liner real quick. Because I really suck at liquid liner to begin with. Like, really suck. Okay, that looks even. So I go to get everything rung up and, you know, the manager had gone over the headset, you know, guess is coming up with such and such um, stuff. And she even said the stuff that was in my cart, she is to get 10% off. So I go and they start hand discounting the material. And then they ring everything else up. And I'm like, okay, so where's my percentage off? Oh, we took it off of the material. Okay, well, the manager said that I was supposed to get 10% off. Yeah, we gave you 10% off the material. I was like, no, she said that I was going to get 10% off 
of my stuff. When she said it over the headset, she said the stuff that was in the cart. She told you, you know, the the jacket that I had. You know, she said, and so the cashier called the manager, and it was a different manager. And the manager comes over, and she goes, you only had problems with getting the fabric cut, so that's all that we can authorize is the 10% on the fabric. Really? Then I don't want the fabric. Well, we already cut it for you. You have to buy it now. I'm like, okay. I was like, I I have projects that I want to do. I'll get it instead of going to Joanne Fabrics. So I buy it and I boycott Walmart until I had to go back in there. I go back in there and I actually was getting my check cashed. And it was around Christmas time that I went back in there because I went and got my check cashed so I could go and buy. There was some stuff that was only at Walmart that the boys wanted for Christmas. And um, <clears throat> my, my checking account had been frauded at that time. So I was getting paper checks. So I went in there to when I went in there to um sorry that was Jeremy. Um I went in there to get that my check cash and to get that stuff. They were jam packed. My check because it was Christmas time and I was working replen at the time was a lot of money and the guy at the desk was helping somebody else and they were calling electronics and he calls me up and I'm like I'm cashing a check I don't take care of him first he goes oh no he can step aside I'll take care of you and I'm like okay and I mean this guy was literally standing like right here right here right next to me and I had to put my social security number in. And the guy's sitting there like staring at me. So I'm like trying to like put it in on the keypad. And he's like looking right over my shoulder. Right over my shoulder. And I just had my checking account frauded. So I'm like trying to like be, you know. And then <clears throat> the guy takes the cash out. And he's like. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, here's 50, there's 3, there's 4, and I'm like, he's like yelling it. 20, 40, it's Christmas time. Like, I want all these people behind me to know how much cash you just gave me. You're supposed to go 20, 40, 60, you know, to where only I can hear it. And I'm just like, are you fucking kidding me? So, I went and I spoke to management. And it was a different manager than the one that I had previously dealt with. And she's like, oh, well, he has, you know, a disability. And we're, we're working with him on being more private. That he shouldn't be at the customer service desk. He shouldn't be allowed to cash somebody's check if he can't protect their the security and their safety when doing that. It is not anyone else's business behind me how much money was in my check. Not at all. She goes, well, next time you come in to cash your check, ask for me, and I'll take you to a register, and I'll cash it at a register. And I looked at her. I said, mm-mm. I said, I will go to Vreeland Market and pay an extra dollar and have my check cashed where they count it on the opposite side of the register so nobody else can see it and they lean in and they count it to only 
me. Not everybody behind me. Thank goodness I got my checking account settled and got all that taken care of and got direct deposit because it was just mm, no 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 and then I went to Walmart after that to get um, stuff for the boys birthday party this was like you know six months later because they had um, some stuff that the boys wanted for their birthday party so I'm you know getting the stuff take it home check it out it's damaged I'm like okay so I go and I ask if I can exchange it and they're like no with this with this there's no exchanges once the product is open I was like it's damaged well how do we know that you didn't break it It's still in the freaking clear wrap. You can see it's broke. It's sealed. I didn't damage it. What, you think I took it and threw it up against the wall? I broke it on my own so that I could come back in and have to, like, what? What? Like, seriously. No, it was already damaged when I bought it. I literally opened it, pulled the plastic out, and it was broke. Called manager. Once again, different manager. Every time I go in, there's a different store manager. Picture posted. So, I'm just like, okay, got to deal with another manager. All right. Maybe this one will actually be better than the other ones. He wouldn't let me exchange it. Okay, so I go out to my car with the product. I call the one in Taylor. And they're like, oh no. If you want, bring it in here and we'll do an even exchange for you. That's perfectly fine. Okay, okay. So I go in there and I do it. I'm like, thank you. They're like, oh, not a problem. You know, hopefully, you know, we helped you out today. And I'm like, you did. So that was one good thing. But that's one out of all of this. So I just, I refuse. I refuse to go into Walmart unless if I have to. Now, the pants that I have for work, I can only get at Walmart. So when I want pants for work, I have to go to Walmart. I have to get them. Um, they have some cute stuff that you can't get anywhere else. So they have more elf products, makeup products, than any other store that's around here. So if I want an elf product, I have to go to Walmart. But I try to avoid Walmart like the plague. So, Kara, that is a whole video. I could continue to go on and on why I don't like shopping at Walmart. So, um, if you want to know more about why I won't shop at Walmart, I can do a part two of the video and go into the food aspect of why I don't like shopping at Walmart, which is... I could do a whole hour on just the food of why I won't shop at Walmart. So give me a thumbs up, subscribe, go follow me on my other um, social medias, Instagram, uh, Snapchat, uh, Twitter, all at the handle of ALLynch43. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.